Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PDC July Paradox Swift deck video, and today we're going to be playing a card that I'm sure you haven't heard of in a while, and that is going to be Ting Lu EX. This card got a lot of hype when Paldea Evolve came out, everyone was hyping it up, it was all like, yo, this card is busted, it's got a really good ability where if it's in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play with any damage counters on them have no abilities except for EXs, and ultimately that was the downfall of Ting Lu. EXs just became better and better as time went on, and unfortunately, Tingle's ability became irrelevant. I mean, there's Charizard, there's Pidgeot, there's Gardevoir. All these abilities, you don't shut off. You can't shut off Pidgeot. You can't shut off Charizard. You can shut off some good abilities, like Bibberol. You can shut off Radiant Greninja, Comfy, Baxcalibur is another big one. There's still a lot of abilities in the format you can shut off. But as time went on, this card got weaker, but it does still have some cool tricks up its sleeve. And of course, one of the big additions to the deck are cards like TM at Devolution, which now gives you a fighting chance against Charizard, which otherwise was unwinnable, basically, because you just, like, can't do anything in that matchup. And Iron Valiant is a really cool addition to the deck. So the idea of Tinglu is you're trying to, you know, you're, you're playing a spread deck. You're trying to spread damage using Land Scoop, your main attack, which does 150 damage, and you can put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That was kind of the OG way to get damage on stuff. There's also Halucha plus Radiant Alakazam. That was the other way you tried to use Tinglu's ability. But now we have Iron Valiant in the format, which allows you to use Tachyon Bits, which can also put 20 damage on stuff. And Bits is a great combination with Tinglu. And I think it's a great, great addition to the deck. Instead of playing the Halucha Alakazam combo, you can just use Iron Valiant in the deck instead. And again, TM Devo gives you a fighting chance against both Gardevoir and against Charizard, especially Charizard, because you are playing a damage spread deck with Iron Valiant, with Ting Lu's attack. You can easily set up some plays against Charizard where you come in with a big Team Devo. Now, in order to power Ting Lu up, it does require three fighting energy. We do have access to Coridon EX with Dino Cry. You can attach two basic fighting from your discard pile to one of your basic fighting Pokemon, but you, you do this ability, your turn ends. So you can use Coridon's ability to power up your Ting Lu. Your turn will end. Ideally, you do that on your first turn of the game. You can, like, use Squawk Ability to get energy in the discard pile. You have Ultra Ball. And there's also Earthen Vessel, which is a big card in the deck, too, allowing you to also get energy into your hand, which allows you to discard it. There's also Gutsy Pickaxe, which allows you to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Fighting Energy card, you can attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. If not, you just put it in your hand. So it's literally draw a free card. If it's an energy, attach it to a Pokemon. It's another, like, mini way to power up your Tinglu EX. But yeah, before I get into the video, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PDC July pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Capsule's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set code, like the main set Paradox Rift, or of course, when Paldean Fates comes out later this week, you can get your Paldean Fates codes over at Card Cavern. And if you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5 to discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF. Link down below. Also, check out the Shovel Squad and check out my second YouTube channel down below below too. Of course, I do post extra content over there. There should be a new video where we look at every single deck that got day two at the largest regionals ever, Charlotte Regionals, over on the second channel. And stay tuned for Thursday. I am going to be opening up Paldean Fates extra early thanks to TPCI. They did hook me up with some early Paldean Fates products, so I'll be opening up all that over on the channel here on Thursday, so be hyped for that. So yeah, here is the Tinglu deck. Here is the full deck list view for the Tinglu deck. So Again, pretty straightforward in the Pokemon line. Obviously, the Coridon to power up your Tinglu, Tinglu your main attacker, the two Iron Valiant, because it's, you know, kind of the way we're going to try to get damage on the board. We're playing Iron Valiant. We do have to play a lot of Switch in the deck. As you can see, we are playing four copies of Switch Cart and two Escape Rope and one Switch as a way to pivot into the Iron Valiant. There's also a Penny in the deck. It's another way to pick up a Pokemon. Penny does heal Tinglu, and you can also use it to even pick up Squawkabilly. You can do multiple Alakazams in a turn also with Penny, which is very valuable. Now, I am playing Gape Job Bog as my stadium of choice. Now, the reason behind the Gape Jaw Bog is, uh, well, we need to play a stadium. Path of Peak does shut off Tinglu, which is a little annoying. Giratina is easily, like, Tinglu's worth matchup. I think, like, I don't think this deck can beat uh, Giratina at all. It's very tough. But Gape Jaw Bog does allow you to uh, have a stadium for Path, and it's a great stadium with Tinglu because whenever either player puts a basic Pokemon from their hand on their bench, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So, Gape Jaw Bog with Tinglu in the active means if you want to bench something that Pokemon takes 20 damage, which hopefully can shut off its ability down the road, which is the idea. Also, it's an extra, like, way to get damage into play to manipulate with Radiant Alakazam. So that's why we are playing that. I am playing a Xenia for Iono4 Research. Xenia's just in here for extra draw support. We don't have a draw engine in the deck. Xenia's kind of cool. 
It also gets rid of energy turn one if you want to keep your hand. It's just a nice card to have. Sometimes you don't want to, like, dump your hand, especially if you're trying to save the uh, TMD vote. Honestly, I think this deck should probably just play a couple Arvin then instead of playing Zinnia. So I think, like, two or three Arvin would be good in here if you can find room for it. But, yeah, let's go show off the Tinglu deck in action. And uh, let's show off the forgotten about EX Pokemon Tinglu. All right, we're up against Charizard. We can beat it. We got the power of uh, thing on our side. We got the power of... The power of friendship. Now, we got the power of TM Devo. Now, we are going to have to Ultra Ball away some valuable cards here to get the Squawkabilly. So, we want to set this Tinglu up if at all possible. So, we can try to get some damage on the board here. Ping the Charmander for 20. And then Squawk and Seize. And hope we get a Battle VIP pass so I can get a Tinglu powered up. And there it is. Ooh, got to see Pickaxes too. It's not bad. Play one. Nice. Good hit. Play another. Pretty good hit. All right. Nice. I said hit. That I, that sounded like I said something else I know. <laughs> I said hit. Trust me. Um. I'm just going to hold the hand. I'm going to save the future booster capsule. We don't need to go into Tinglu here. There's no point. Um. Yeah. If that was a Mew, what it went into Tinglu. The only downside with our hand is we are bricking... The Squawk ability did not give me a draw supporter to work with, which is pretty bad, but hopefully we can turn things around. Our hand is pretty good, though. We have the future booster capsule and stuff, so we'll see. Yeah, they got the Rodom Fire Energy on the Pidgey. Interesting. Kind of don't want to KO Charmander. Like, I mean, we have to take an early prize, but taking early prizes feels kind of bad against Charizard. Ooh, Escape Rope. Yeah, give him the tingle. That doesn't really matter. I guess they're calling for family, which is fine. I am fine with call for family because now we can um, can put 20 on the Rodom. There's an Iono. I'm fine with that. Obviously, my hand wasn't great. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's not terrible. Got boss and stuff. Still no supporter, though, which is a little annoying. There's Mew. Okay, they can retreat to Mew. They've played the rope, so they can retreat to Mew and do Mew. Hmm. It's kind of bad. They could potentially get the second battle VIP here. But it, once again, I'm fine with this. We set damage up on the board, set up their manders, go for a big TM Devo play. We're chilling. Sucks we had to lose the future booster capsule. I maybe would have attached it, but I didn't want to... Oh, they don't Rodom. I maybe would have played the future booster capsule there, but I also did want to save the future booster capsule for a potential... Like, I didn't want to get lost vacuumed. Okay, we did draw research, which is pretty big. I got to start attacking here, though. Maybe just hold the hand. I kind of want to save the boss, to be honest. So I can, like, punch another Charizard. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to take 10 off the Charmander. We'll put on the Rodom. Or put up... Uh, Rodom or Mew? We'll put... Uh, I'll put on Mew, I guess. Sure. Honestly, you know what? I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to land scoop. Save the hand. I'll put 20 on Rodom. So they can't do that. They, they can't do Ro Rodom and Mew here. So they just have to have, like, Rare Kenny Charizard in their hand. They probably do have it. There's TM Devo. And I definitely have to hold on to the hand because I drew the TM Devo. Now we have to hold on to the hand 100%. So they're forced. I mean, they could have an Arvin, but oh, they promote the Mew. And they can't do that. They could have a counter catcher in hand, I guess, or something. I guess we'll see what they do. They can't do Mew's ability. I'm surprised they promoted that. I'll say have the way to gust me here. There's Arvin. Okay, they do have Arvin. Promoting the Mew may not even matter. I mean, they have Charizard anyways. I can just put three energy, retreat the Mew, but still. I'm fine with that. Yeah, they got four seal rip. They could have prized it. That was the other thing they could have prized. The four seal stone. So you didn't see what they end up doing. Again, this matchup is all about just conserving our TM Devo. Okay, they do have the Ultra Ball. It looks like they have the Rare Candy Pidgeot. Rare Candy Char... Well, I'm hoping they don't have Rare Candy Pidgeot, Rare Candy Charizard. And it looks like they do, which is not good. Not the Pidgeyzard combo. It's pretty bad. Do they have it without even needing to play four seal stone? That would be pretty bad, actually. They might have just had the bananas in hand. We'll see. Quick search. Dude, don't tell me you have a Kenny Zard. If they don't have to play the Force Seal Stone, that gets a little awkward. But, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's fine. It's all about the TM Devo, baby. We ain't winning this without that TM Devo. Shout out to TM Devo. <laughs> all right, what are they doing here? 
Okay, they had it without needing to play four seal stone. That's bad. They are down two energies. Maybe they prized a couple. They're playing six energy. They're playing rope, though. Maybe they're not playing six energy. So I guess we'll see what they put into play here with the Charizard. One thing I hope they do is they, like, fall for a bait play and they go after Squawkabilly next turn and not hit the Tinglu. The more time we get to use Tinglu, the better. That's what I'm saying. The more we get to use Tinglu, the better. Sure, you play two Switch cards. Why not? Double Switch Charizard. Let's go. Broken deck. I'm for sure beating Tapu Koko. It's fine. We don't want to take any more prizes. We don't want my opponent to be able to do 240. We want to just stay either at five or six prizes this match. Yeah, I think we're just going to hit the Charizard and then start getting damage on the Pidgeot. It's four seal stone. What do they even grab at this point? I guess Countercatcher. They could knock out Squawk Billy here. Which would be a little annoying, but not the end of the world. I guess, honestly, if they're not hitting Tinglu, more damage, I actually don't think that's a bad thing, actually. Yeah, we also want to stay at five prizes so we can play around Iono, because we need to find the TM Devos, and in order to do that, we need that. They're going to play a Collapse Stadium. Okay. Sure. That's good. I'm surprised they played that, actually. What's the point of that? Hmm. Okay, what do we draw? Another energy. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to Painful Spoons. Do that. And we're just going to Land Scoop. And best case scenario, they put another Rare Kenny Charizard in play next turn. That's what we're hoping they do. So then I can boss the Charizard and go from there. They have a one-card hand. They're probably just going to research, obviously, with the Pidgeot. But we'll see. If they get another Charizard in play, we can set up the TM Devo. We want to make sure we TM Devo them, right? That's part of our win condition. They could Iono me, I guess. I didn't play a supporter, though, so I'm kind of hoping they... It looks like I'm bricking. We'll see what they go for, though. There's one card. What was their top deck? Was their top deck anything good? Is there ever a world where you can KO Charizard with... We could try to KO Charizard with, like, Tachyon Bitsal Kazam combo... If we really have to go down that road, probably not a good idea, but it could work. We'll see if they go Iono or Research. Ideally, they use Research, not Iono. I don't want to lose his hand. I have TM Devo Boss, which is like really good, especially if they get a second Charizard, because then we can set up the play where we de evolve two Zards at once. Hmm. But they also might not have a Research, or they prized it. We might begin Iono to your folks. Or they Arvin. We'll see. Vitality Band on the Charmander. They are Arvening. Hmm. They could have went Vitality Band, Gust of Valiant or something, which would have been pretty bad. Countercatcher? Okay, well, they just, like, horribly missequenced that. Oh, I guess they're going to knock out Valiant next turn then, which is fine. Okay, that's fine. I, gu I guess I see their vision. Should be okay, though. Okay. It's actually really good we got rid of Squawkabilly then, because they have the Vitality Manico thing. Eee, another Tinglu. What's up, brother? Pretty good. I mean, I guess Valiant is dead next turn, so I guess RIP, bro. But they can't win the game even if they do that. And honestly, we don't, I don't really care about the Valiant anymore anyway. It doesn't really matter. I knew, maybe I honestly, maybe I should research. I don't want to reveal the Team Devo, though. I think we need to save the Team Devo. It's too important to just, like, not reveal. It looks like we have to take a prize next turn, though. Uh, we'll see. This is why I want them to go Rare Candy Zard. Maybe I, now, nah, you know what? Honestly, I think I should have went, I should have maybe, I don't know. I can't do, if I had Future, see, I'm, I'm punched for not putting Future Booster Capsule in play. This is why I wish I had the Future Booster Capsule, because I can put on the Valiant, and then... Well, they're not going to KO me. Because we need to put two more pings on this. I need to land scoop this plus, like, or Alakazam ping this. Yo, they're going for it. Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. That's good. That's good. They're doing the Charizard now. That's good. That's good. All right, ideal. We got the TM Devo play incoming for the three prize KO. That's optimal. Okay, good. How much energy do they have? What the heck? Eight energy Charizard. Okay, well... They can retreat into the Charizard and KO Valiant here. Oh, well, maybe not. Well, they can't play the Countercatcher anyways, actually. But it's good that they put the Charizard down. 
If they get another Charmander here, it gets a little awkward, I guess. I really wish I had Iono here. But we can go for the TM Devo play, which is, I think, what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, we have to go for the Team Devo play now. And before they have a Tool Jammer. Nah, we got Rope, though. It's all good. We have to Rope anyways, because I got to put... I have to ping this thing with uh, Alexam Valiant. Oh, they have a Stadium. Ah, they got another Charmander down. They are down 8 energy, though, uh, which is good. So it's like, hopefully unlikely they get Charizard in play. I really wish I had Niono here. Hmm. Still a very losable game, though, to be honest, which is scary. Oh, no, I can't afford to lose that. Should I just boss kill Rodom then? And then just do the TM Devo next turn? I think that's honestly the play. They might Iono me, though, which is pretty bad. Oh, I think that might be the play, to be honest, is just KO Rodom here. And then just TM Devo for game. I think we have to do that. But now we're probably going to get Ionoed, which is bad. I could just TM Devo them. Because and... <sighs> I don't know. Because they, the they didn't bench Charmander. I would have went, hopefully, for the TM Devo play, but I can't. I could have set up the Charizard to be KO'd. I think we just have to hope we can TM Devo them. I don't like this, but this is the only play I got. I don't know. This is probably just not it, but I guess we're going to find out. Then you'll be able to TM Devo this. I don't know. This is pretty bad. That was a pretty annoying... Um, that boss top deck was pretty bad because it makes it really hard to TM Devo. I don't know if this is a correct play or not. I had to take a prize no matter what. Like, no matter what, I had to take a prize there. I guess I could have bossed a Charizard and punched it and not taken a prize. It doesn't really matter because I killed the Tingle anyways. Yeah, I think it was fine to kill the Rodom. The ben benching that Charmander was pretty bad, and drawing that second boss is also bad. If we don't get Ionode here, we can go for the TM Devo play. But I haven't played a draw supporter yet. I'm kind of hoping they just hope I'm bricking. I guess we'll see, though. There's another Charmander. We have game in hand. Currently, I win the game if my opponent does not Iono me here. If they do Iono me, we lose. So it's all down to whether or not we lose the Team Devo and we get a Team Devo or not. I don't like this, man. Oh, that boss top deck really sucks. Because, again, if they didn't mention Charmander there, I would have went for the Team Devo play. If I had Iono plus Team Devo, it would have been really good because then hopefully they can't Charizard me because I doubt they have. Oh, they boss me. Okay. I think that's game then. Yeah, we win. Okay. All right. We won. They did not Iono me here, which means we win. Let's go. That's game. Because we have the we have the three prizes for game. All right, we won. Charizard is beatable. TM Devo is obviously the best card in the matchup. Maybe we should play an Arvin or two in this deck. If you can find room, honestly, maybe you should fit an Arvin in here. It's not a bad idea. You do play a lot of tools. And I got the Super Rod. Yeah, it should be GG, so I don't think they can win this turn. So it's probably game. Yeah, it's game. Okay, we won. Unless they have, like, some dumb healing card. If they uh, No shot. Even if they heal, I could try to go, like, bits, bits, Kazam, still set up damage. But it should be game. They literally have to play Fresh Water set to win, which is a big meme. It's another Charizard. If they want to burn a Rare Candy now, I mean, oh, oh they are burning Rare Candy. This would have made our Team Devo play even stronger than it looks like. So I guess if I didn't kill Rodom, they would have went for the third Charizard. So I could have Team Devo them anyways, and it would have been... Pretty good, assuming they don't have... That was their last rare candy. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I could have... Like, Team Devo wins me the game anyways, no matter what in this scenario, because they're just out of attackers now. Sick. I mean, they could have used Charmeleon. Hmm. Eh, we'll take it, though. It doesn't really matter. We have the Team Devo. It's weird they're not expecting it. The way I manipulated the damage, it made it look like I'm doing Team Devo. I'm kind of surprised they didn't... Like, I don't know. I guess there's no way they can really play around it, to be fair. But it is GG's. They knock out my uh, Coridon. We drop the TM Devo on them. We take our three prizes and win the game. GG's to my opponent. Again, Zard is beatable. It is beatable. You just have to be very careful with how you take your prizes. Because you don't ever want them to one-shot Tinglu. That's like the one advantage you have in this matchup is they can't one-shot Tinglu. Alright. The evolution. And that is the dub. And the fact that they burned that rare candy just made this win even easier. I guess they could have won, actually. They could have attacked me with Charmander with Steady Fire Breathing by bossing this. But I would have switch-carded it, though, so it wouldn't have mattered. So, yeah, it didn't matter. I would have switch-carded the Charmander anyways and been fine. Yeah. They couldn't win with that. All right, GG's. Tinglu beats Charizard. Thanks to TM Devo. 
yeah, we pretty much need Team Devo or that matchup. The matchup is like not great. Yeah, Team Devo carries for sure. All right, in this game, we're up against Gardevoir, one of our hardest matchups because Gardevoir EX is bulky and has access to the Gardevoir EX, which can accelerate energy. The one thing we have going for us, however, is we do have access to shine off for refinement and we have Team Devo. Unfortunately, my hand is not very good as I cannot attack next turn, which is the only issue. So we need to draw something playable here. We do not. Yikes. If only this was an Ultra Ball. So we can Gutsy Pickaxe. Mmm, not like this. Yeah, I need to not I need to not have a slow start against Guardi. Because this matchup is beatable, but we need access to uh we need to get the Tinglu online in ASAP so we can shut off refinement. We're unable to do that with our current starting hand here. Yeah, not great. They do have Mew, they can grab a level ball. We can Iono here. Configure something out with an Iono and see where it takes us. The best top deck would probably be Iron Valiant. That'd be a good top deck. And Iron Valiant would be good here, too, if I can draw one. Yeah, Valiant would probably be the best top deck. Can we draw it? We didn't get a VIP turn one, of course not. There's the battle VIP. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I hate VIP so much. All right, well, Iono and unfortunately not really get to do too much this turn. We got Gapejaw Bog. Cool. I guess we can Ultra Ball for the Coridon. Yeah, no reason not to just grab Coridon. Get another energy in play. Sure. Why not? And I guess I could have sequenced that better. I could have benched the Coridon before the, the Gape Drop Bog, whatever. Spread the energy out or attach the active. I won't attach the active. It's fine. Yeah, like I said, the one silver lining is we can try to shut off Curlia from doing refinement. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, this matchup could be tough. We do have TM Devo, which is obviously another really a big crutch card. And there is the first Curlia. They are going to get to refinement. They got double level ball. What did I Iono them into, bro? I gave them that off of my Iono? Not like this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's not good. Not being able to attack there is really unfortunate because we, we could have shut off refinement. It's not good. We weren't able to get the attack there. But we didn't have a turn one that had VIP in it. We'll have to see how we do. Again, we can really rely on TM Devo to bail us out here. That is one of the biggest cards we have going for us in this matchup. Hopefully we can top deck like Iron Valiant here. That'd be pretty nice. Because they are setting up here. But, ooh, they benched the Greninja under Gape Job Bog. Let's go. They can't do concealed cards. Okay. All right. Well, there's that. <laughs> it probably doesn't really matter in my opponent's position, but that's pretty funny. All right. We take those, I guess. That's good. I mean, they only have one energy in the discard for now, which is nice. We can rope here. I don't really care about Kao and Mew. Yeah, hopefully we can... Ooh, oh, that's not good. They had an Ultra Ball, double Psychic Energy. They can get Gardevoir EX here, which is not good. Yeah, I need to Iono them now. And guess what? I got no Iono in my hand. Okay, this is bad. What do we draw? Okay, another Energy... It's not good. They got the Gardevoir for next turn, though. There's Iron Valiant. Not doing much at the moment. Hmm. All right, we can do this. Set up damage on that, I guess. We might have the TM Devo next turn. Like, well, depending on whether or not they Iono me. Uh, this guy's weak to Psychic, right? Yeah, so Crydon could die if they have Countercatcher. Okay, well, we're just going to knock out the Mew and then go from there, I guess. Put 20 on the Curlia. See what our prize is. Prize number three, what do you got for me? Escape rope. We can go rope into Valiant next turn and do something. I'm probably just going to have to hit the Gardevoir with Tinglu and then TM Devo them the following turn. I think that's going to be playing because they're going to two-shot me here. Because unfortunately, they can evolve. They can't do any abilities. So, I don't know they go. Oh, they won the Shining Arcana route. Good thing we put the Bravery Charm on. They might be able to knock me out here. Oh, but they're going Countercatcher. Probably killing Coridon, I imagine. That's fine. They still can't... Well, now they can draw their cards, which is pretty bad. Yeah, it's not good. That's actually really bad. They had a counter catcher in their hand. Of course, they had that. Not like this. That's fine. Again, we are trying to set up a play where we can do TM Devo, and hopefully they don't see it coming. I think that might be my only option here. I gotta hope they don't see the TM Devo coming. Or at the very least... Because, like, they have Cresselia, which is terrible for us, by the way. So, like, they, this matchup is tough. This is an uphill battle. Um... We're behind a turn of attacking, which is not helping our case either. 
we'll see. It's going to be a Team Devo and Prey War, folks. Okay, they're active. They don't have another Ralts down, it looks like. Do they have an Iono this turn to go with their Countercatcher? I don't want to get Iono. So hopefully they don't play an Iono, but we'll see. Four in hand. No Iono one time. If they don't have a draw card here, and they don't have one for next turn, we can shut off all their draw with Tinglu, which buys us more turns, which is good. Maybe it's better we didn't go, like, aggro turn one, because I guess I don't really ever want to bench Squawkabilly in this matchup, because that gives them another free two prizes with Screamtail. Maybe it was for the best. They're going to get two prizes, but, like, as long as it's not a supporter card. And Gardevoir can tend to have these really bad hands, or, like, bad bricks. Penny top deck's not bad. Um, I don't, honestly, I kind of don't want to play the Zinnia, but I kind of have to. I can take 20 off this. Put that there. We already have the KO, so. Uh, we could go Robe Valiant, but I need to KO the active, obviously. I could Penny the Alakazam here and put 20 more damage onto this guy. Save the Zinnia for next turn. Kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that, sure. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. This doesn't really matter, but I'm just conserving more damage counters. Safe to bench this, right? Yeah. <laughs> just in case we get Ionode. All right, no little attack. We're obviously trying to save the TM Devo. I mean, I could go for a big Team Devo play next turn. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to maybe Team Devo knock him out. I'll see what our prize is. Another Tinglu. It's okay. I don't think I really need a second Tinglu anymore, obviously. So we can Zinnia that away. We're in an okay spot right now. My opponent could knock me out with, like, Zacian this turn. But they didn't play a supporter last turn. If they don't get one off the prizes, they can't currently draw any cards. So we'll see. There's Artisan. They get another Ralts here, finally. Oh, they hit an Iono. Dang it. Let's see. Now, I'm kind of glad to do Zinnia. Yeah, that, that Iono is pretty annoying. Maybe they whiff the attack this turn. That's pretty bad they got the Iono, because now I can't go for the de-evolve. But they actually conceded the game anyways. My opponent didn't have any other thing, it looks like. They just scoop it up. All right, never mind. I guess we overcame all odds and beat one of our trickier matchups. All right, I don't know what they owned themselves into, but it must have been that bad of a hand for them to immediately concede the game. Again, this game, we're up against... Ooh, I was wondering if we were going to see a Maridon. So, Maridon is obviously one of our preferred matchups. Um, so, that's good. Our start isn't bad. Uh, the only thing we have to make sure we're able to do is keep up with the attacks every turn, which is, like, the only technical, like, difficult thing in this matchup. So, we'll see. We do have a pretty solid turn one, which is nice. I think we're going to have to sacrifice good old Alakazam here with this rope. There's no reason to go Iron Valiant. The only benefit is we can, like, hit the, hit the, like, the Mareep or whatever. Honestly, benching another Karaidon is not even terrible. Well, does it... Actually, Tinglu is the best attacker because Karaidon can't... Yeah, Karaidon get knocked out by Maridon Zapdos, so it's probably better to do that. Okay. Did draw another Tinglu. Do I even want to bench another Tinglu? Yeah, I guess. Then out the deck. Maybe save Gutsy Pickaxe for next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We're just going to do this. I'll save the hand for next turn. I'll save the Gutsy Pickaxe. So we didn't get a draw supporter, so I might need... If I'm not getting energy on the other Tinglu, I might need a supporter for next turn. So uh, we'll save, save that, because I could technically get a supporter if I whiff top deck. It's actually good we rope there, because now their Fury Tree pivots on the bench, which is kind of decent. There is that. If they play a rope, we're probably going to have to go Tinglu, which is not great, but we'll see. There's Maridon. We'll see what build that they are playing. So yeah, Tinglu doesn't really matter in this matchup in terms of, like, our ability. Like, shutting off Flaffy is actually kind of decent. But other than that, yeah, there's nothing else we can really do. I'll just shut off Flaffy and be like, haha, you don't have access to Flaffy this game. Which is good, don't get me wrong, but it, you know. We'll see. And they have Squawkabilly. They have a pretty good turn one. It's actually really good we roped because they had a kind of, they had a dirty start. They had Mew as their starter with Maridon and Squawkabilly already in hand. It's actually really good we played the escape rope there because it's going to make it a little bit 
more difficult, hopefully, for them to attack here. They're going Iron Hands. They're going to try to hands my Alakazam, it looks like. I am fine with that. It doesn't really matter. Well, I guess it does matter, but it's not the end of the world. I don't have a Switch in hand either, which kind of sucks. We do play four Switch cards, so hopefully we can... I don't want to rope here because I don't want to... I want to take two prizes. I don't want to take one prize, so... Yeah. Okay, never mind. They had the nuts already. Yeah, okay, they had the nuts in hand. They even had a Switch card to get around the rope? Come on, bro. The cheese is real. There's no... V's in play, so they can't use Force Seal Stone. And, oh my god, they had Path and Fort. Wow, they had the nuts. They could eat... Honestly, I'm surprised... I mean, maybe it's good with Alexander because they could have got, like, Raikou or Raichu. And then Force Seal Stoned. I guess we dodged a bullet there. Can they amp me this turn? Only one energy. That's good. Another generator. Yo, and it fails. You'll love to see it. Yo, let's go. All right, we needed that. We needed that. That's huge. They squawk before they mew. Interesting. Okay. Uh, punished. We'll see if they can knock me out. Again, really sucks I have to play escape rope here, but they could just leave Mew in the active, actually. Maybe it's better we rope. I don't know. Boss top deck could just change it all. There's Flaffy. Once again, we can shut Flaffy off, which is honestly pretty relevant. There's a lot of value in shutting Flaffy off, especially when they've already burned two generators and both failed. Or one failed. I don't think we're going to attack this turn, unless they have another generator and they could maybe arm press me, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking like we are safe for a turn. And then we can play the escape rope here, and I guess they can give me squawk Billy, which doesn't get KO'd, but I could also just pick it off with, like, the Alakazam shenanigans. I guess the one thing to know, they are playing Path of the Peak, which does help, but, like, I don't know if they're playing that many. Path in the Peony build feels kind of sus, because, like, why would you ever want to put a Path in play? You know what I mean? Your, your entire deck relies on Muse. I, I feel like they're not playing more than just one path, because that just feels like a really bad card to play in that deck. All right, what do we draw? Bingo. Okay, let's do this. Nice. Um, I don't think it matters we fill our bench up. Not really, no. I'll go rope. Again, wish this was a switch, but at the same time, I'm not knocking Mew out. They can give me a one-prizer here, or they can give me the squawk Billy. Uh, we'll see what they give me. Killing Zapdos isn't terrible if they want to give me Zapdos. Putting 20 on the Squawk of Billy is not bad either. Because then we can knock it out down the road with... Uh, um, can knock it out down the road with... Uh, like, some Alakazam shenanigans. Like, I think they have to give me either Zapdos or Mareep this turn. If they give me Zapdos, I'll knock it out. And I'll put 20 on the Mareep, obviously. So that the, the Flaffy can't do its ability. We'll see what they give me. Yeah, they do give me Squawk. I was hoping they were going to do that. So I'm only doing 130, but we can... Tech on bits it. Hopefully I don't regret getting rid of my third Tinglu. If worse comes to worse, we can attack with Koridon. Now, I... Probably shouldn't Iono here. I kind of want to, but I probably shouldn't. We're not going to Iono, no. They have a three-card hand. There's no point. They could have a switch card heal the Mareep, I guess. We'll see. Maybe I should have put... Maybe I should have put four on this, honestly. Maybe I should have Alkazammed. Maybe I should have bits the the Mareep instead of the Squawk. I don't know. Okay, never mind. That's not happening now. Yeah, I'm not going to Iona them. There's no point. I'm not taking a prize this turn. And I also don't want them to bench Raichu and then just blow up my Tinglu out of nowhere. That's also something I want to avoid here. So I actually think it's fine to just not take a knockout or even Iono them. We can save the Iono for, like, next turn, which is probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason to Iono there. The Iron Hands is still kind of a problem for us, and there is a boss's order. Probably going to bring in the other Tinglu. Do they have an attack this turn, though? I mean, they have to have a generator. They wouldn't have. They surely would have played one last turn if they had one. They can't play Peony or anything. Now we just need to find a switch. I could also retreat back into Tinglu and then just do Koridon, which wouldn't be a terrible play either, in all honesty. Actually, I'm surprised they bossed Tinglu instead of... I don't know. I'm surprised they bossed Tinglu and not another Pokemon, because they could have Flaffied. But there's no energy in the discard. Never mind, I lied. Okay, well, they just pass. Another energy top deck. I think it's okay to Iono here. Yeah, it's fine. We have the Iono. We can find a switch, hopefully. 
Yep, there it is. Gapejaw Bog. Pretty good stuff. We can kill the Squawkabilly here. Or I can leave it alive, which I'm feeling like is not terrible either. Not really in any rush to take a knockout this turn. Yeah, we could leave Squawkabilly alive, which Loki I don't hate. Could save the Gapejaw Bog. They do play Path. We should probably be cautious of that. Yeah, let's do this. We'll might as well hit the Alakazam. Or the Zapdos, sorry. And I'll just land scoop. We'll leave the Squawkabilly alive, I think. We don't have to KO it just yet. Where do I put this 20 damage, though? I don't think this matters where I put this. I'm going to put on the Iron Hands, because why not? Yeah, I don't think that matters where I put the 20 damage. That 20 damage is kind of irrelevant. Well, yeah, we can leave the Squawkabilly alive. That's fine. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We can boss next turn, which is probably what I'm going to do. Boss KO Maridon. We can take four prizes next turn. I think what I'm going to do, if I get energy on Tinglu, we'll just go take four prizes here if they don't Iono me. And then we'll go from there. They got a generator, and yeah, I figured. That's why I didn't want to Iono them, but like I was like, we might as well Iono. There's like no reason not just Iono here. Yeah, it's fine. They only got one energy. Dude, these generators are sucking. And it really sucks that they can't... Well, not for me, but it really sucks for them that they can't do Flaffy. Ooh, they got the DT. They can actually attack my Tinglu here with Mew, which is pretty funny. Uh, do they have another boss? That would be a little annoying if they had another boss, actually. That would kind of mess up my plan a little bit if they had another boss. We'll see if they have another boss. Huh. Yeah, if they have another boss, it makes it awkward. And they have a vacuum. Okay, there goes my future booster capsule. That's fine. You can get another one in play. They're playing Super Rod. Okay. See, so yeah, if we draw an energy, we can just take the four prize KO, and then we're chilling. They're only doing 130, but I see what they're trying to do. They could Iron Hands me here and knock me out. They could Iron Hands me and take some prizes. We should probably KO the Iron Hands, to be honest. Do I want to do that, though? Well, let's see we top deck. Ooh, Bravery Charm. All right, we have options. All right. Boss KO hands, knockout. We can slap the Bravery Charm on this guy. So that the Mew can't KO me. They'd have to... F I force him to do my ride on here. Yeah, I think it's time to take a four prize knockout. Yeah. We can do a lot of stuff here, actually. We can... Do this. We can even set up Mew to be KO'd, right? Yeah. Okay, might as well just play that now. I'll knock him out. We just need an energy now to kind of keep this win alive. Should I take the two prizes? The four prizes? I should take the four prizes, yeah. I don't even know if they play Iono. They probably don't, and either way, they're not going to find Iono, I'm going to say. So let's just take the knockout. We're getting four prizes. I think it's worth it. Pretty good. Good prizes. Gutsy pickaxes. Another stadium. Booster capsule is also pretty good. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. I'll see if they have an Iono. They could Iono, and I whiff an energy. We could lose the game. That's why I maybe didn't want to do that play. But I can also just sit here and set up damage, and there is no Iono. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can win here. I can also, at this point, like win the game by knocking out the Mew with Tachyon Bits Alakazam combo. So it's like, it's looking pretty good. My opponent has to go Maride on this turn in order to kill me. So that Bravery Charm is pretty clutch. Because, yeah, now they're forced to do Maridon here to knock out me Tinglu. And they can't Flaffy, obviously. So there's that. I maybe could have killed the Maridon over the Iron Hands, but I don't want the Iron Hands to just, like, go unchecked. I think it's fine to kill the Iron Hands there. So, I don't know. I think it was fine to kill the Hands over the Maridon with the boss there. I really don't think it mattered what I KO'd. I'm not as scared of the Maridon, to be honest. Bravery Charm, okay, that's... Fine. It's actually kind of annoying they had that. The heck? Okay, that's fine. We still probably win because I can just knock out the Maridon for a game if I find energy. They're not Ionoing me this turn, and I am seeing quite a few cards. Double pickaxe, top deck research. Whiffing a fight and energy would be a crime. Second Mew. That's another 20 damage on the board. If we whiff an energy, I might as well just, like... I mean, if we whiff an energy, whiff an energy. If we whiff an energy, though, I can also just sit behind Alakazam and build up Karidon. They found another Bravery Charm. Well, good thing they didn't charm the Squawkabilly earlier. Could have been annoying. 
Yeah, bro's cooking. That's fine. We play a ton of Switch. Yeah. The best play this turn would have been to knock me out with Mew, but the Bravery Charm literally just clutched up there. Because, like, now I just need to knock this out for game. Okay. So, yeah, we just need to find an energy card. And I am seeing so many cards this turn. If I whiff, I may be pretty annoyed. And, thankfully, we don't even have to bother trying to gamble for it because we drew the, the energy anyways. Let's go. And that is GG's. Beating Maridon. So, yeah, Maridon, it, it's theoretically favored. It is still tough because they, they could be playing cards like Path. They can still one-shot you. It's, you know, you're a bit of a slower deck. Sometimes you're not able to build up multiple Tinglus. The one silver lining is, like, being able to, like, shut off Flaffy, which is kind of nice sometimes. We got lucky with their generator whiffs, but, yeah. The Maridon matchup can be scary nonetheless. Like, it's still, like, kind of tough. Like, it's not, like, a free win or anything. All right, we're against Shen Pao. This is a matchup that I'm honestly very happy to see because it is a very good matchup for us. Um, Yeah, we have TM Devo, Tinglu's ability, obviously. Unfortunately, we aren't able to get double energy in play here, but honestly, it's fine because our start is still pretty fantastic. Because we got the turn one Tinglu. All we really got to do is just put damage on these Vax Calibers, and they can't do Shen Pao. And we just got to make sure we have Tinglu's powered up and ready to go. Because once we can shut off Vax Caliber, they're cooked. Oh, they got the turn one Battle VIP pass. That's fine. Yeah, it would have been good to get a lot of energy in play there, obviously, trying to get two Tinglu's powered up, but it's not the end of the world. Because, yeah, as long as they're not playing anything weird like Palkia V-Star or something silly, we should be able to just shut off their Fridgy Vaxes. And with the help of Iron Valiant, we can get two, um, hopefully two of their Fridgy Vaxes pinged here. Oh, my God, they're playing Palkia? No! I just said if they're not playing something dumb like Palkia. Now, well, let me click off the Fridgy Vax. Bruh. What the heck? No, it won't let me click off the... What? Dude. Oh, my God. Bro, it's literally not letting me click off the... I'm not making this up? What? No, dude. Oh, no. How do I fix this? There's no way to fix it. There's, like, no way... Oh, my God, dude. And of course, they're playing a Palkia, like I said, dude. And I get a glitch. Don't let it in like this. There's an Iono. Is that going to fix it? Probably not. I, I think I'm just farmed. I, I literally can't do anything. Oh, my God. I even drew boss. I can boss the Pelkia and hit it for 150. Dude, come on. No. Don't let it in like this. Come on. This is so good. We can ping the Pelkia with the Tinglu. Or hit the Pelkia with Tinglu. Oh my god, dude. This is not it, Chief. I cannot believe this just happened. I actually cannot get over this. Why, TCG Live? Why? Why, bro? Why is this game coded like spaghetti? I never had these issues with PDCGO, I swear. Alright, we're gonna have to take an L in an otherwise really good matchup. Because I literally cannot... I can't, I can't get the game back. I'm literally stuck on the screen. Can I play the game? I, I can't. I can't, dude. I, I miss PDCGO so much. All right, well, another Guardi deck. It looks like Houndstone or something. Interesting. So we are going second. Our start's actually pretty solid, though, going second. Actually, it might have been better to go second in this scenario. We'll see. Uh, but it is another Guardi deck, which uh, we know is tough, but... With the power of TM at Devolution, anything is possible. They are playing Houndstone. This is interesting. Alrighty then. We're cooking. That was a good top deck. Um, we'll Ultra Ball for Tinglu. Alright, TM Devo, is you in there? Right, we only have one in the deck. That's fine. Might be better, depending on whether or not... I don't know. We'll see. Let's just go to Spickaxe. Rope. Loki, I kind of want to play that. To force this guy on the bench. Yeah, I kind of want to. Yeah, I kind of want to get Tinglu in the active. Sure. Not research. Crydon's also weak to psychic. Okay. Nice double VIP. The dream. The dream is alive. Okay. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good uh, uh, hit there. Grab the squad. Cool, cool. Do that. Do that. Do that. 
Squawk and seize. See what we got here. All right. Didn't get a switch for the uh, Iron Valiant. That's fine, though. Okay. That was a pretty good turn one. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a Bits off there, which would have been cool. But honestly, I can't complain. That was a really good start. Now, my opponent does have resistance to fighting. Jump scare. Top 10 jump scares of all time. Holy moly. <laughs> what? That actually scared me, dude. What the heck? All right, this thing... Oh, they're playing Mewtwo v. Union. Oh, we might be cooked. Uh-oh. Um, we might get farmed. Mewtwo v. Union is not a Pokemon we want to see. Klefki. Klefki's kind of annoying. It actually shuts off Tinglu's ability, which means they can do refinement. Well, good thing we have boss in hand. Oh, God. We might be getting cooked here. The Curlia might be stuck in the active. And it is already then. Okay, this works. We can attach. I can Alakazam... Does Klefki shut off Tinglu? I mean, we'll definitely put one on the Houndstone regardless. So I'm Pokemon in the active spot, base Pokemon in play. Curse land. I actually don't know what gets canceled out first. Honestly, I'm kind of too lazy to think. I'm just going to knock out Curlia and knock out Houndstone. Or put 20 on Houndstone. I, I'm honestly kind of too lazy to figure this out, but we'll see. If they get that Mewtwo out, though, we might just lose. I actually don't think I can take out Mewtwo. There's TM Devo. I have research in hand. Not great. We'll see if they can attack me here. I also debated just using Coridon to build up another Tinglu. Maybe we should power up Coridon because it does do a lot of damage, but I just weak to Psychic. So, Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scared of this Mewtwo v. Union. If they get that out, I'm cooked. I think I have to go around the Mewtwo. I have to try to take six prizes going around the Mewtwo. That's the plan. Killing the Curlia is a good start, though. Yeah, they just do last respects. Okay. Yeah, I, I honestly, I'm kind of too lazy to think about what gets canceled out first there in that interaction, but it works out. Um, doing 120. <sighs> do I want to tack on bits here? Kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just hold the hand, just like not do tack on bits. Yeah, I don't really see a reason to tack on here. I'm just going to take a knockout. I'm not going to bother doing Tachyon Bits. I'm going to save the hand. They could stall something, too. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to have to go around this Mewtwo, but taking out that Curlia was a big step in the right direction. All right, switch. Good prize, good prize. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. My opponent most likely can't kill me. They actually can. Joust kind of sucks. They can actually discard my Bravery Charm, which is a little awkward, but not the end of the world. As long as my opponent's not taking prizes, it's not a big deal. And they got nothing going on. Do they have anything in their hand? They don't. And that is GG's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can win this turn, I think. We have game in hand. Right? Yep, that's game. We can... Oh, no, it's not game because I can't use Tachyon Bits because Klefki's ability. Huh. Never mind. No, it is game. What am I saying? We just Alakazam. So, yeah, we do cancel Klefki's ability out with our own ability. Look at that. All right, it was game. I lied. That works. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, we can't do Tachyon Bits because of the Klefki. But, no, wait, we can because we have Alakazam and Tinglu's cancels out Klefki's own ability. That's an interesting interaction. All right, that could have got scary. If that Mewtwo v. Union ever got set up and I was not able to knock anything out around it, I probably would have lost that game. Mewtwo v. Union should just sweep me. And there you have, folks, that is Tinglu in action. Again, being able to prevent the opponent from playing the game with Tinglu's ability is pretty strong. And I really like the addition of Iron Valiant in the deck. Just being able to do that extra bit of damage feels really good. I know there's the Hitmonlee, I think from 151, which you could try out too in the deck. The problem with Hitmonlee is you can't use Coridon's ability. I think Valiant is just better than it. And Valiant did pull its weight. It was a very useful card. It actually makes a lot of sense when you combine it with Land Scoop, especially when you're trying to take multi-prize knockouts. And that'll be it for my new updated Tinglu EX deck outside of just probably losing to like Giratina and then obviously like Gardevoir is going to be a tough matchup. I think Tinglu is like okay right now and with especially when you're just playing on the ladder bro you can run into the most random of decks that you can beat which is pretty fun but that'll be for me if you enjoyed the video on Tinglu EX. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the order reaching 55,000 subscribers. Thank you all once again for all the support on the content. Paldean Fates is coming out very soon and this Thursday I'm going to be opening up some Faldan Fate product that TPCI provided early to me. So shout out to them. So definitely stay tuned on the channel for Thursday. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Check out card comment down below. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, and the second channel.
拜拜。